All right there, BVPN and guess the BVPN season 10. Say for soldiers on. It is for soldiers on there. Boy, we've got one and violent one here today, yeah? Because it's the BVPN. It's always violent. That's the way Blood Bowl is, lads. The way football was meant to be played. Cotsmolet, you handsome devil, you. What have you got in store for me today here? Scum, pasta, and gerbils? Maybe. Who knows? We'll see here. Yeah. Norse versus the Dark Elves. This has been a look forward to match here. Because in this division, let's face it, the Dark Elves came in. Big every favourite. A really big every favourite there. Yeah. Saved by the gerbils with the chops, I tell you. Kemri would like to, you know, buy you a free meal for that gerbil buffet. Oh, God, this game? Really? That's what you've got to say on this? Oh, God, this game? You, you, you know what? I was just told it was violent and there was blood on the pitch. Nothing else. Other than there might have been a goof later on. But besides that, I'm trying to go in blind. Don't spoil it. I want to be thoroughly entertained. Well, the Norse have gone and hired, yep, Wilhelm Cheney, yep, Strength 4, Werewolf. Oh, yeah, yeah, trust me, I'm going to love it there. He's an interesting werewolf because, yep, he's Strength 4 there. He comes with Rassel, of all things, but otherwise, no real change. His real advantage is he's Strength 4. So, most of the game, he's two dice all on his own. That's the one job with him. He makes a hell of a receiver there. Meanwhile, speaking of, here we go, the most exciting moment you ever wanted... Well, as exciting as it ever gets there. All right, so, solid kick down the field here. The Norse on our way. Here we go, lads. Power of Frenzy. Yeah, the werewolf indeed does have Frenzy. They all come with Frenzy. Wilhelm, especially there. And I love the flying bomber jacket he wears. It's absolutely delightful. That is one personality there. Headbutt! Stab, stab, stab. I know. It's just baseline for a werewolf. But Wilhelm, he just makes it look cooler, doesn't he? Solid frenzy, solid tank down here. Not going for the surf and turf, are we? Meanwhile, Wilhelm gets to the business here. And he's got that one down. Damn, I'm good. Yeah, indeed. And the prediction's already been started already. How bad's this one going to go here? Oh, God. Everyone's already making their predictions. Oh, here we go. All right. Oof, Earth it charges in. Does a great job there. Did a good job indeed. Meanwhile, he's got the Calico. See, this is where the Norse do have a very fantastic little thrower. Hey, G4. It's daring to live the dream. Must be that Dark Elf blood he consumes and drinks every night here. Now, you can see here the Norse realizing what this Dark Elf team is well-renowned for doing here, which is crashing in and just being hyper-aggressive. So, of course, they've made the best they can do here. Dark Elves caging in. Sodding, you know, do they want to go for it now or do they want to try and prevent it there? Seems like a free bet. Might as well let other ones in it. Yeah, it, it, everyone seems to be crashing this one up here. Meanwhile, big takedown there by the Calendar Girl. As you can see, the Dark Elves have now gradually recruited the Calendar Girls here. And that gives them a lot more flexibility and mobility to complement the rest of the team. Because the Dark Elves didn't come out of it, you know, easy. It was a tough first round. They did take a lot of damage, but they do get a nice result out of it. Speaking of... Is he down? Oh, my. Well, he's down, but he's not drained, as the case may be here. Meanwhile, they continue pummeling away here. Another big hit. Yeah, I heard the Norse had a rough game coming into this one here. Yeah, I heard they had a very rough game. Damn fucking chops there. People should draw and quarter the bastards if we play that team. All right, Norse. Moving up here. They're looking at maybe going for the quick score. Let's take a look at Yodeling of Ahala. Four re-rolls and they've got the Apothecary here. Wilhelm Cheney, though, he's going for the quick removal. And, well, that sort of works. Yeah, you can see what he's doing here. And it's a good play. It's a really good play. Gets the frenzy, gets the takedown right there. 
He would have rather just take the surf, didn't have a choice on it, had to take the pow there. Meanwhile, dodges through there, and there he goes, running through as fast as he can. Norse continue to pounding it and pounding it. Really like to kill this little fucker. And they get themselves a nice solid KO, and yep, they are very happy indeed. Norse coach very delighted, as are the supporters. Now the Norse, well, not bad turn, it is a KO, it does get rid of the uh, runner there for a while, take a look at the Dark Elves, they do have the fan factor at Pot Gary 3 rerolls, so they're in pretty good solid shape in there. <sighs> Alright, breather, <sighs> this calls for more ale, cheers, definitely stout ale, it's a Norse team, definitely. Alright, there we go, open that one up, it's a fresh one. Speaking of fresh... I'm going to gut you like a Cornish game hen. Oh, well, Alice Cooper's going to take a nap for a while. He might have blodge, but he certainly has fall down and take a nap when he gets hit by tackle there. Oh, well, don't worry. Hopefully there's a bat in his future. He can chew on there to get some new vitamins. All right, continuing on here. Dark Elves, they, they certainly there seem... Was much rejoicing. Hey, cheers, lad. Cheers, lad. Oh, well, I guess that means we're probably having a double header there today there. Four Leaf Streak. Doing great things. Great things on this channel here. Calder Girl dodges away here, runs away from... Ch no one wants to face Chaney. Come on, there's no werewolf love. Me, well, look at this crazy dodging away here by the kicker. And he even gets away with it. Well, the Norse... You're going to have to pound him for that. You certainly are. Norse still progressing down the field here. They do see an opportunity here to go for a quick touchdown here. They might just have to do that. No, they, they just might. Meanwhile, solid hit. And they get the Calder Girl. Oh, good God. Hulk. Smash. Chickity, 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 chickity. Oh, good God. They must be inflatable. Down she goes. More than she does on a Tuesday night. And she is gone. Oh, she got hulked, all right. She absolutely did. Meanwhile, push me, push you there. Oh, yeah, I was just told it was a crazy game. Nothing else. So I have come indeed blind. I just wanted to enjoy the spectacle. That's what we're calling this, aren't we? It's definitely a spectacle. I feel for the Norse. They took one hell of a pummeling getting here. But they certainly are here. There we go. Easy catch. No problem. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Norse definitely proud of that. Meanwhile, headbutt there. Gets a nice little stun there. Overtime. Uh, he doesn't want overtime. He really doesn't. But that's okay. Dark Elves. Well, they're already looking at an injury. Don't worry. It's badly hurt. And okay. Oh, the Dark Elves. This is not the first time they've been in this situation. Mind you, I asked the Norse. Not the first time for them either. Pretty much. They don't want to talk about that. They don't want to talk about that at all. Don't blame him. He's in a nailing, biting division here, isn't he? Casual dodge here by the Dark Elves running down the field here, keeping the screen going in here. Casual dodge, of course, yeah. This is what the Dark Elf team does. It is a magic symphony of dancing and choreography. The Norse fistings. Lots and lots of fistings. Nothing wrong with that either. It, it, it just depends on your style and your orientation. My orientation is blood and beer and whiskey and all the other good stuff there. Yada la. All right, to Val Hallelujah. Well, that's what they're hoping for anyway. Norse carrying on turn four here. All right, please stand up. Play. Everyone else has been left behind. Hello, we like to get back in the game. And yes, as you can see, right, the Norse. You're not, you're not blind. That's two loners. Like I said, that was a rough fucking game getting here. All right, there we go. Solid hit by Wilhelm. Gets the takedown here. Meanwhile, AG4, which never fails. Well, he's going to show you a fisting. And why are we re-rolling that? No, seriously. Why are we re-rolling that? Because you got a spare? All right. Oh, yeah. All right, well, we'll take the score then. We'll take the score indeed. Well, the Norse do proudly score it in there, yeah. They do a good job, they score it. 
earlier than they liked. But it's just dependent on the situation here. Meanwhile, as you see that KO has recovered. Dark Elves back up to full strength there. But yeah, they are out of Witch Elf here. They are indeed out of Witch Elf. Norse though, still enjoying having the one lone in reserve. If you can call having a loner as a reserve enjoyable, well, it gives you foul bait, doesn't it, there? And yeah, as you're, and as we're hearing there from the coach here, yeah, the North suffered eight fucking injuries in the game prior to this. Eight of them. That was a bad day. However, they came out of it proud, lean, mean fighting machines. They are going to go all the way to the playoffs this year. I'm not too sure about the finals, but that's all right. Run, cowards! That is the Norse declaration this year. They are going all the way to the playoffs this year. They've just, they picked the toughest division to do it in. Oh, well, typical Norse. You know, no pride, all gumption. And, you know, probably a lot of booze too while they're at it. Meanwhile, Dark Elves continue the beatings till the morale improves. Let's see how the AV7 does today. Push me, push you here, Dark Elves. They've got five turns to score. They can do this easy peasy, hardly squeezy here. Another big punch down. Yeah, well, you'll definitely be happy there. The Norse's big advantage in this division, with the exception against the Dark Elves, is Bill Bexley's speed. Oh, no. No! Well, sing the bloody song. He's dead. He's dead. Dig out. Oh, man, that fucking knight is dead. Yep, there we go. We've got a Norse lineman dead, I repeat. He's just a rookie, but he is indeed a Norse lineman. Bye-bye! And down he goes. Easy catch. They're doing something in the past. They're definitely doing something there. Dark Elves continue to stage up the field in here. And now they're feeling a little bit more confident, are they? Yep, Dark Elves, they enjoyed that. They really did enjoy that. Uh, who needs gold? Gold for Norse? Gold for Norse? All right. Well, the Norse would like to even the numbers up here. All right. There we go. Solid pound. Got him. Bang, 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 bang. It's just a stun there, unfortunately, there. But, you know, let's face it there. The coach, that is the secret to good coaching in this division. That is absolutely the secret to good coaching in this division there. It's so all the cocaine and all the hookies. It really is. Wilhelm Cheney gets back up here, ready for a bit of a scrum in a dunny here. Norse down a player now at this point here until the reserve comes in. But, see, this is where Wilhelm Cheney does give them a lot of advantages. It really does because he's movement eight. So, he's an excellent free safety. His problem is the frenzy and a tendency to get overcommitted. So, we'll see how this develops here. And that was a lot to go over. All right, breathe. All right, Dark Elves charge in. Solid power. Casual power on the blodge. Yet, yeah, blodge never fucking works. You know, you're fooling yourself if you think otherwise. Solid beating on the oof. Push me, push you here, Dark Elves. As you can see here, so far, not many rerolls really been used here. The only reroll was a greed reroll just because, well, he had fucking four. So, you might as well try it. Didn't work. Shrug. Normally, I'd say, why would you re-roll that? And I did, but that's all the time skin. You know, I get it. I get it. Because you had four. What the fuck else were you going to use it on? Might as well. You know, it's, that's hard to be angry at. It really is. All right. Solid power right there. Gets the takedown right there. What do you mean he has so much tickle? Well, yeah. He's got those fingers I right hear. The ladies do compliment Daffo and all those... Oh, you mean tackle. Other category. Pfft, sorry, I don't know what my sister was talking about then, everybody. Alright, here we go. Norse, keeping a free floating screen going here, while at the same time close and engage. And boy, are they ever having to do a lot here. And they've got a lot of ideas there. Alright. Norse, yeah, close and engage, close and engage. That seems to be the Norse philosophy here. It might actually work, except for, well, casual pows. Well, there goes the loner. No one fucking cares about loners. Who does? Nobody that I know of. I mean, what? Another solid hit. Solid takedown. So far, AV7's doing all right. That might be jinxing it, though. That indeed might be jinxing it. Push me, push you there. Are you complaining that the other Kenry looked out and they got Hooligan Division? I don't think you're wrong either. I, I really don't think you're wrong. Panda, I don't think, wanted the promotion. I really don't think he did here. Do I get there on the earth? Earth, it takes him down here. 
And the Dark Elves, as you can see, they just train blow for blow. Meanwhile, Calder Girl going for the casual surfer. Oh, bye bye! Bye bye! Into the crowd he goes! Oh, don't worry, nothing bad happens to him there. He just gets carried off and told to go get another beer. He's got to refill his pint. Oh! What was that for? Get all those gerbils there. What the hell was that for? Why'd you trip the calendar girl up there? Look. She can only do so much in high heels, and here you are making it difficult. Shame on you. All right, well, the Dark Elves, multiple eligible receivers here. They are enjoying a two-play advantage on this drive here. Norse, well, they're going to do what they can to compensate. It's turn seven here, of course. Wilhelm Chaney, I hate to say it, you're going to be putting a lot of faith in him. We'll see how well that works. Solid block, solid takedown. Gets the hit, gets the takedown right there. And here comes Wilhelm, but he's not doing the blitz. He's just doing a mark. Why? It's this lad doing the blitz. Comes around the corner here. Gets a big solid headbutt. Big takedown on the calendar girl. Run, cowards! Then meanwhile, the brawls do continue. Another solid hit here. Doesn't get a nice little hit there, but they're just going to keep on trying here. Norse, you got to love it there. It's been one thing we've seen about this Norse team. They never fucking quit. You can remove them from the field, but as for the coach, never quits. <laughs> Oh, it's a true story. I've witnessed that happen to him once. Didn't matter if he's still got one fucking player. He never fucking quits. You gotta love that kind of attitude there. Meanwhile, speaking of attitude here, Dark Elves are going to show you some attitude right there. Nice and up close and personal like. Makes the blitz. Comes peeling back down the field here. Dark Elves. Remember, it's turn seven, so it's not urgent to score as long as they have several players in scoring position. At least that's their theory anyway. Dark Elves, re-maneuver as we speak there. Comes in. Where is he going to go in this one here? Where is he going to go today? To die. Up oh, there goes the loner. Bye-bye. Oh, come on! AV7! It's just it's ridiculous here. The amount of fistings. The only thing it died was just a lineman. Just straight up dead. <laughs> Everyone else, nigh fucking invulnerable, it seems like so far. Even the crowd couldn't harm him. All right, Calder Girl moves into position. You can see what he's trying to do here. He really wants to give the calendar girl the ball. Failing that, he goes to the bailout players. That is the Dark Elf strategy at this point here. Wilhelm would like to go and fuck your shit up for that one there. There we go. Push me, push you. Round two. And yeah, fails the loner. Because he just wants the calendar girl dead. And he had two fucking rerolls to spare. So he might as well spend. I say no, technically three, now he's down to two. Yeah, going at the end of a tur of the entire half, and you're down to two rerolls to spare. This ain't over time, it doesn't carry. Unfortunate that. Don't you wish that was a rule some days? You really do. Two dice here. Solid block on block. They're not going anywhere this time here. And the Norse, well. This is not a bad strategy. This is not bad at all here. They're going to make it as complicated as fucking possible. Solid headbutt right there. And if anything, they've made it difficult for the Dark Elves. Let's see if the Dark Elves can figure this one out. Or is it going to be Elvin Dickery the hell away? Place your bets, gentlemen. Play! Oh, oh the gerbils are doing lion share today. They really are, yeah. And everyone's dancing with Mean Gene on that one. Well, that means Dark Elves that just went out the reroll here. Me, what solid kick. He makes the blitz out there. Ah, oh, there we go. That was a receiver there. You should have seen the old days. You could have a team reroll, a player reroll, a personal reroll. It was insane. You could have three rerolls on an action. And there's the score. No problem. And they're all on the board tied up at one. Well, there you go. There is your halftime score. We are tied up at one. This halftime, of course, is brought to you by everyone's favorite DJ Cadets Classic DJ Services there. Quality, class, the whole way. Cadets Classic DJ Services. Whew. 
All right, we got that advertisement done. All right, it's it's fun trying to juggle everything here. All right, Dark Elves, their drive here. We're tied up at one here. Let's take a look at the two teams here. Norse full numbers, and of course, Dark Elves full numbers. It's 11 on 11, and woohoo! The Norse get the reset up here. That's what they needed to do. Hasta la vista, baby. Uh, it's like I said, the Norse are not going to fucking give this game up anytime soon here. They're going to make the Dark Elves fight tooth and bloody nail. Preferably pull the teeth out and pull the nails out. You know, that would be the theory. Wilhelm Cheney, as you can see here, he is eager to close and engage. Norse, very aggressive setup, as you can see here. And yeah, they're taking advantage of the perfect defense. They are going to make it a fucking scrum. They really indeed are here. All right, good luck, both of you. This is going to be fun. You know, that's what everyone keeps telling me. Here. It's already been a brutal one here. It used to be insane how many rerolls you could burn on a turn. All right, oh, God, are we going? Oh, oh, that's not good. That's not fucking good at all. Here. AG4 might be going surfing turf. What the fuck's he doing this? Oh, 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 well, there's a cheeky reroll right there. Work, work. All right, you might survive this. I know, that is just so fucking hyper-aggressive. And you're lucky it hasn't backstabbed you yet. Keyword is yet. We'll see. We will indeed see here. We've got faith in Norse. Faith in the Norse, definitely here. Meanwhile, solid hit. Takes him down. Grass grows, birds fly, sun shines, and brother... What is it with Alice Cooper on your team? What the fuck is with him? He's either KO'd or stunned. He never survives a hit. He really does. Is that lifetime of his, is he just easily susceptible to being knocked over, KO'd or anything else? He's living up to his name. I might love the man's music, but he keeps falling down. Yeah, exactly. Risk is the business. And the Norse are ready for this one. All right, solid punch on the front line. Take down here, Norse. Here's the question. Are they going to crash in as hard as they can and make this bloody? Well, the answer is probably yes. It's a weird situation over here. The Norse are trying to rescue Mr. AG4. They are trying to rescue him. And as you can see, they've got a plan. I said they had a plan! Yay. Would you like to try that again? Yeah, there we go. GFI makes that. Here we go to save the day! Bum, 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 bum. Oh, boo! Alright, well, let's take down. Knock some down. Nicely done. Thanks for standing still, wanker. Meanwhile, over here, push me, push me. Oh, this is going to get ugly so fast on this sideline. However, the elves can't score, so it's going to be a weird one, isn't it there? Wilhelm charges in. Well, he's going to see what happens. And now we get to wait and see. Oh, we do the double one here for the elves. We all know, live and die by the one. That is the elf in Credo. Which, unfortunately, the coach knows all too well himself there. That's why he's going, got to score, got to score, got to score. <laughs> there he goes, charging down the field. Push me, push you. That's about all he gets out of that one there. Oh, well, he's got two more turns to try and score that one there. Yeah, I, I could almost sense it. Ah, he can smell it in the air. Yeah, absolutely can smell it on the air. Push me. Big punch takes down the learner right there. Dark Elves redeploy here. Easy peasy, having squeezy. He makes a dodge, makes it look just absolutely Dark Elf casual there. But he's all well, another easy dodge there. Doesn't have a 1 in 36 anytime soon. And now, here we go, dodges away, leaves everyone to sell the Norse. At this point, we'll be honest, they are completely out of position at this point. A hundred percent out of position. That said, that has never fucking stopped that firm before. So, welcome to turn 10. Strap in, lads. What was that strap on? I don't know, it depends how you take it. Here we go, solid punch. Got him! Oh, well, it's only a stun now. That's a start, though. That is indeed a start. Who do you indeed? Welcome aboard. You've been missing a weird one. And I'm told it's going to get weirder suddenly. Norse trying to keep this contained here. Now, the Dark Elves pretty much have a run of this unless Wilhelm goes crazy. Which has happened. It's possible. If he gets this one near, eh, he's got a route, but it's going to be just absolutely bizarre crazy. Makes the GFI here. Here we go, two dice. Oh, uh, yeah, the Norse do see the play. 
Got him! Yep, indeed, he got him there! Big hit, big takedown there, and the Norse definitely chanting there. It's a good solid removal. And here he goes! One die? Nope, no, it, it is Wilhelm! He makes the dodge, and here he goes! Good god, how many fucking dodges was that? Well, he fails the learner, that's fine. He does have Frenzy, so he makes another hit. Tries again, nope, he's had a movement! He's had a fucking movement there! Oh well, like I said, it was all gonna come down to Wilhelm. Does it get him? And now the counterattack begins here. And the Dark Elves don't dodge away. He actually stays there. He's gonna get in the Donny. Alright. We'll see if this is a good idea. Oh, I see. He thinks he can surf Cheney. Right. Good luck with that then. Alright, push me, push you. It still has worked. Yeah, did someone forget the money below on the sideline? Yeah, I know, I know, I know. That, that was pretty obvious over there, unfortunately. That might be the only mistake the Norse made at this point here. So far. Well, Cajones? Never questioned if he's got the Cajones. Yeah. And welcome to turn 11. All right, let's see if the Norse can indeed turn it up to 11. And here they come, charging in. Norse. Absolutely scattered to hide wins here. This is this is Roost and Ruhan. It really is. Norse still moving a couple of players. Come on, wake! There we go, wakey, wakey. There we go. He's coming across the field. Well, he's a bit late. Cole would have been nice if he was over there already. Oh well, shame, shame, shame. It happens. It's already become a crazy game here. All right. Well, the Norse have marked everything up. We're just waiting for the excitement to happen here. Norse, a very weird screen. Here comes Wilhelm. Oh, this is going to go weird. Chain push as it is. Goes the Frenzy. Two dice. Rassle. Rassle. <laughs> I'm allergic to Rassle. That's not a death. I'm totally allergic to it. One die. Push me, push you. Goes the reroll. He still can't get the fucker. That's fine. He just pushes him right into the crowd there. Fuck it. And now he's here to f us. He might be. He indeed might be. Dark Elves in furious counter attack here. They're trying to rescue the ball carrier. They really are. They're running out of options. They can do it. Oh, uh oh. Double skull. Uh oh. Well, there goes the reroll right there. He's going to try again. Shenanigans. 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 Uh, maybe he is calling shenanigans. Charges in two dice there. Yeah. Push me. Push you. Nope. He's got the tackle. Bye bye. <laughs> Message for you, sir. Oh, yeah, there's the dance there. Mean Gene and company there. The Dark Elves still rocking and rolling and rocking and rolling, going down the field there. They're not giving this one up easy, but Norse, as you can see, is a scattering of bodies all over the place trying to stop this drive here. Frenzy, push me, push you. There we go, into the learner. There we go, nice hit. That's about it. All they're doing, getting dating advice. All right, casual dodge away with the AG4. And meanwhile, here comes Mr. Crazy. Yep, yeah, there is a Elder Receiver in the back end, just the way he likes it. <sighs> Maybe. Who knows? I don't judge. Whatever makes you happy. All right. Norse. Oh, you think they're going to give this up anytime soon? Oh, hell no. Norse is just going to keep this up. Anyone who watched any game, any broadcast of this Norse team knows. Pfft, you still, They've got players alive. It ain't over. It definitely ain't over here. Here he comes. Oh, come on. Why do we keep picking on the calendar girl? Why is that? Oh, up, solid block. Down she goes. Solid headbutt. She's still alive. You fool. Meanwhile, there, casual dot. And look at the cage dive. Just casually cage dives in. Oh, God. And then Wilhelm does the same fucking thing. Casually cage dives in. What the fuck's going on here? <laughs> I know, it's like the dice don't care. All right, well, Dark Elves, they've got to clear the cage the hard way. Who the fuck invited you two in? Wilhelm Cheney. Again, wrestled down here, but already the game just keeps on going. There's no guarantee the Dark Elves are going to score this one now at this rate. You were thinking this would be easy. Oh, hell no. Has to dodge away. 
And the Dark Elves already running to the other side of the field. Caligill stands up, casually dodges away, comes running back down the field here. Oh, all this in one breath. Meanwhile, doesn't doesn't fail the big miracle dodge there. Gets out there. Yep. Yeah. Oh, you're praying for a two. Makes the dodge reroll. Meanwhile, yep, yeah, there we go. Elvin Dickery at its absolute finest there. Well, you think that stops the Norse? No. And the Norse turn 13. They ain't done with you, lot. They ain't done with you. Norse absolutely go crazy here. There we go. Solid dig takedown right there. It sends the man flying. Well, the loner hasn't failed the team. I will endorse that. It's, I've said this numerous times here. Norse loners are right up there with dwarven loners. They're some of the best loners in the fucking game. They really bloody are. Norse, all ready to go here. This is bizarre here. Norse will help Chaney. He's get, nope, he's not risking a dodge this time. He figures he's got two elves. Here's the cage dive, and he actually gets it. What? No! What? No! No! Ah, no! Ah. Yep, the Norse cage diving through there, and they got him one die, and he gets a pal. The only way he was taking him down there. Beautiful. Push me. Push you here. Dark Elves. Well, they've got plenty of dodge. They're not too worried. Push me, push you. The frenzy continues here to the Brawl and Crews. Cowley Girl figures she's got this one taken care of. Freeze up the runner. Runner. Well, he's going to have to get involved. Oh, God. He comes charging in here. He gets a power there. Takes out the Norseman. He goes flying. I broke your stupid crap, moron. Yeah, well, he broke something there, but don't worry, it's only his crown, nothing important. Easily peasy, halfly squeezy, picks up the calico, and now it's tight. Oh, you're tagging up because I want the assist set. Okay, we'll see how well that works. All right, big takedown. Does work indeed. Well, at least that wasn't a double skull for once. Dark Elves just keep on scrolling. Oh, no! Fails the dodge. Down he goes. Note the huge breasted typist in the background. Oh, God. Really, Panda? Yes, really? All right. That means more games ahead. Don't worry. I'll choke from this soon enough when I can get a breath in. Thank you very much, Panda. Well, he's guaranteeing there. Meanwhile, solid hit. Solid takedown. He's working on it. He's working on Close it. The butt cheeks. He definitely is working on it. Meanwhile, Norse, like I said... This is why they love this coach in this league. Never fucking quits there. You think you're safe. You absolutely think. Here comes Wilhelm all the way across the field. To oh, boo! Makes the reroll. And he got him. And the Norse have the fucking ball. The Norse have the fucking ball. Woohoo! Yep, time to change your bears. Norse elder receiver down the ball. Down the field, I mean, rather. Yes, me, Walt Norse. Oh, fuck! <laughs> what? No! What? No! No! Ah, no! Ah! Uh, thank you, Panda. That was the rule, right? I don't have to do a double header, don't I? Double header coming up, then. Meanwhile, Dark Elves, turn 15. Tried to stop this. The Norse have the fucking ball. <laughs> Bravo. Yeah, you can tell who everyone's cheering for. There we go. Push me, push you. However, he has strip ball. The ball goes flying free. Shenanigan. 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 He's got his balls. Oh, that's great for the Dark Elves. They'll take it. Oh, no. <laughs> Yes! Yes! Yep! Fails the dodge! Out he goes! Yep! There it is! Dark Elves cannot believe it! That's more cocaine off the hooker's ass, as we say! No, wait, where the f- Wait, 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 wait! Hold on, hold on, hold on! Wait, wait! Where the fuck are you going? No, seriously! You have a Norseman right here near the ball! What the fuck is he doing? He's getting in a fight, sir. Norse, you got it. The ball's right here. 
<laughs> the ball's right there! He's trying to get the AG for free. Fine! Okay! Ultimate fatality. Alright! How else well that gonna work? Norse had no rerolls, remember? There's a KO right there, takes him down! Heroic vandalism. Yeah, heroic, that was a big KO, you fucking needed that. Norse, they don't even try to get the ball, they don't even try! Are you sure about this? Are you really fucking sure? Get out! There he is, critical stun here, Dark Elves, turn 16. Oh, Dark Elves, they're putting everything on a pair of fives. They've got to get this ball somehow. He's got the ball. It is the runner past the reroll. There's the throw. Oh, good God. It is indeed. There she goes. Kill the girls on the run. And there's the score. No. The Dark Elf supporters are in fucking disbelief, let alone the North supporters. They can't believe it. The only time. The only time. Oh. You had him. You fucking had him. All right, well, it's a one ten touchdown possible. Ain't that out of it. So the fat Abley dies. We all know how that works here. Now, there's no rerolls left. Fan fact it is charging for the Dark Elf because Calendar Girls, both of them you can see are basically having a rough day there. Other one though, delightful score. Oh no. Oh no. Yep, there it is! <laughs> There's the riot! Fortunately, the ball is all the way in the backside! Oh, well, don't worry! Norse can do this! Brutality. There we go, that's one! One! Ah, 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 ah! Yep, Norse is getting to fucking work at this point. They are gonna crash the line with old receivers. Solid knockdown right there. Norse continue. They are not dead yet here. Big push down right there. Takes it down now. You can believe here that Norse are gonna throw everybody they got down the field. Everybody's going down the field on this one here if they can afford it. Meanwhile, Mr. AG4, this is your day. This is the day. Now, here's the fun part. AG4, the only other thing you think of is get the ball, get it to him, and then he stages it up. Might be a little easier, but God, this is going to be crazy with no rerolls. Well, good luck, lad. Good luck. And here come the Norse. Meanwhile, Mr. AG4 runs down. He's got the ball. No problem. Here it is. The perfect throw. Oh, no. I find your lack of faith disturbing. It's all right. It's all right. The ball got down the field. He got the old receivers down the field. It's all right, ladies and gentlemen. It's all right, indeed. All right. Dark Elves. They can't believe it. They have to fight and fight hard. And yet the problem is, is that they look at the situation going... How the fuck do we stop this? No, seriously, how the fuck do they stop this? They got no rerolls either. They're just gonna set up a screen and they're gonna pray this holds. There we go, loads of receiver. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a go. There it is, right there. And yeah, you can see the Dark Elves see that. The Dark Elves indeed do see it here. They charge in, they do get the takedown. Well, now the Ufurf is the score. And they're not liking that, they're not liking that at all, unless they feel lucky. Do you feel lucky, punk? Do you? Maybe. Alright, Ufurfer goes running over here, goes to the blitz, push me, put- uh Oh, it's Surfer Turf Tie! Bye! 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 That was strangely arousing. Was it? For who? Uh, he's not dead, so that doesn't really count, does it? Change your beers out there. 
All right, here we go. Solid pounding it here. It's not dead yet. Mighty blow gets the stun. That's all it does. Meanwhile, casual pick up the ball. And now he has to do of all things pass or hand or... Oh, it's not a turnover. It's not a turnover. Because the ball never hit the ground. Guess what? He fumbles the hand off. There's the pass. And he made it. Go, 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 go. Oh. Damn it! <laughs> well, there you go. Your final score. Bravo, bravo. Two to one. The Dark Elves carry on. But wow. What a game that was. Bravo. You know, you know what this shows? Fear the Norse in this fucking division. Because any given fucking Sunday, they can win this. It, 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 they just demonstrated it right there. Right, game number one, you know the rules and so do I. Tonight we have a double header. Thanks to Panda and everyone else's support there. So we'll be right back. I've got to chug a beer and get ready for the next one. Nuffle. Bless your dice.